So my next guest sees the battle between the states and the federal government as having implications much broader than health care. New York Times best-selling author Tom Woods is the author of the book Nullification, How to Resist Federal Tyranny in the 21st Century, about the state's ability to say to the feds, no. Tom, welcome here. Is the health care battle now being waged in a Virginia courtroom and soon to be waged in a Missouri courtroom? Just the tip of the iceberg of states resisting the federal government when it legislates, regulates, or taxes in areas never granted to it by the Constitution. Yes, I think so. And I think even though I'm not sure how these lawsuits are going to turn out, at the very least, we're getting to see that people are realizing that the states do have a constitutional role. They weren't intended just to be doormats and litter boxes. So it is good to see that. On the other hand, I am concerned about Karl Rove's statement that it's okay for us to resist the federal government as long as we honor the system. Well, the problem is the system is rigged, the system is broken, the system is the opposite of what the framers tried to give us. Thomas Jefferson imagined that the states would act as the sentinels of the liberty of the people. They would protect the people from unconstitutional overreaches. And those powers have, by and large, been stripped from the states over the years. Right, stated, and they need to be reclaimed. Stated differently, if, if an individual state or if a group of states found that what the federal government uh, did, the powers it assumed to itself, was nowhere grounded in the Constitution, then those states could simply refuse to acknowledge the federal law and authorize the people living in those states not to acknowledge the federal law. That's the essence of nullification, is it not? Yes, it is. And, that, and Jefferson's point was that if the federal government can just monopolize the determination of what its powers are, it's going to keep acquiring new powers. The states have to have some counterbalancing check. And federal courts, ultimately, for whatever uh, victories you might win in them once in a while, they can't perform this role because they are an interested party. They are one of the parties to the dispute between the states and the federal government. You know, you don't refer disputes between you and your neighbor to, you know, your wife. All right, no so, one would accept so that. So your, your argument is that Virginia and Missouri don't even need to go to a federal judge to say you decide whether the federal law supersedes or whether the state law supersedes, that in this area of human behavior, regulation of health care, clearly and obviously never given by the Constitution to the federal government, the states can simply on their own say to the feds, leave us alone, and on their own, without the involvement of a federal judge, say to the people in the states, forget about that federal law, it's unconstitutional, you don't have to comply with it. In principle, yes. Uh, Jefferson's view was that the federal courts were by and large going to rubber stamp everything, which indeed they have done. So as usual, Jefferson was a prophet. In practice, this is a difficult one to nullify because what do you do about the IRS just taking people's money? The way the system is set up, it's sometimes hard for the states to resist. So I would add to the revival of nullification, which is essential to our federal system. If we keep using the, the usual methods, we're going to get the usual results. So we do need to, to use every tool available to us in the Jeffersonian toolkit. But I would add another reform, which is an amendment to the Constitution that would say that if a simple majority of the at attorneys general of the states declare a federal law to be unconstitutional, it is repealed. Got it. These are exciting times we live in. Who would have thought in 2010 we'd be arguing about the principles that were so dear to Jefferson and Madison? Your book, Nullification, has brought this to the fore. Tom Woods, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Judge.